Let's start our lecture about joints in our body and what's the importance of joints. What we need to know about the articular system in our body. Let's start with the classification of joints on the human body. We have three types of joints in the human skeletal system. The first type of joints are the fibrous joints. We have three types of fibrous joints, or we have three sites where fibrous joints exist. We will explain each type in details. The first type of fibrous joints are sutures. We can find sutures in our skull. Gomphosis is the second one. Gomphosis is the second type of fibrous joints, and it is located in the roots of our teeth. Syndromosis is a fibrous joint characterized by two adjacent bones connected by ligamentous structures, including a strong interosseous membrane. These are the three types of fibrous joints, sutures and gomphosis and syndesmosis. Second type of joints in our skeleton is the cartilaginous joint. Cartilaginous joints are two types, either primary cartilaginous joints, which are temporary, or secondary cartilaginous joints, which are permanent. We will explain each one in details later on. The last type of joints are the synovial joints. This is the commonest type of all joints and the most important one. And we will study each one in details. We have plane joint and hinge joint. Pivot, bicondylar, ellipsoid. We have saddle joint and ball and socket joint. These are the seven types of the synovial joints located everywhere in our body. This is the main bulk of our lecture, and we will study each type on separate later on. Before we explain types of joints in details, there is a very important topic in our lecture to focus on. The nerve supply of joints. So what is the nerve supply of our joints and why it's important to know? Most of joints of our human body, covered with capsule, surrounding the whole joint with ligaments inside the capsule that keep the bones fixed and stable during movement. The capsule and ligaments receive an abundant sensory nerve supply. There is an important law called Hilton's Law. A nerve supplying a joint also supplies the muscles moving that joint and the skin overlying the insertion of these muscles. That's Hilton's Law, one of the most famous law in anatomy and in medicine in general. 